Hi everyone. Um, welcome to uh, the Hickok Homestead. Yeah, we are. Uh, I thought we are going to start making videos about chickens and certain things we do here on the homestead, our gardens, and we're going to be setting up game cams and checking out footage of animals around the area. I'm very excited about that. Uh, we just went and checked out one of our game cams today. It's you'll see. Um, this video really is just an introductory um, explaining what we'll be doing, uh, why we are doing this, and uh, how happy we are to actually be able to share all this with you. Uh, we've had chickens since October of 2016. Uh, however, we did plan for these chickens for about six months before that. Um, we built our own coop, our own run, Mitch, thank you. Um, and we have had many ups and downs with having our chickens as well. We want to share our experiences with you. We get tons of questions. Um, myself and Mitch, we both get lots of questions in regards to chickens and different things that we do have happen here on the homestead, gardening, canning, um, <clears throat> and, and the such. Um, Please excuse, I, I have, I'm getting over cold, so I might sniff or I might clear my throat. Um, and also why I'm a little late on my videos. Uh, videos are coming. Um, the first video will touch base about winter, how we, um, how we take care of our birds, how we prep our birds, and really our, our homestead and, and also uh, getting it ready for winter. Um, and why? or how we're taking care of our animals through the winter. It is brutal out there this winter. Uh, when I filmed the outdoor portion of that episode, it was negative 20 degrees with wind chill. When I got in my car this morning, my car read negative 14, and that's not even including what it feels like or wind chill, because <clears throat> we do live on a very windy hill. Uh, it, it is cold, not just here, but all throughout the country. It is cold everywhere. And so many people are asking us the question, how are we protecting our birds? How are we keeping them safe and healthy and uh, not, not killed over dead because of the cold? It is that cold. I mean, it is, it is brutal. <clears throat> and so we'll go ahead and touch base on that and some do's and don'ts and cons and things that we found um, with with our birds um, in certain circumstances for different people. Um, so we'll touch base on that on the first episode. Uh, the second episode will actually be zoning and coops, uh, how to build them, what we would recommend through our own personal experience, uh, and runs, what, what you need for your birds. Um, so we hope that you'll enjoy these different videos that we will be posting. Uh, hopefully they'll be going out Thursdays and Mondays. Uh, I have a wonderful neighbor who is helping me put these together because I am not tech savvy at all. Uh, so she's she's gonna go ahead and put them and clip them together for me. <clears throat> and, uh, and hopefully we'll be getting these going. I just thought I'd touch base and do an introduction on what we're doing here. Uh, we're really excited about this and hope we can share all of our do's and don'ts. Granted, there there are websites everywhere about raising chickens, um, which I think are is wonderful. It's it's a great thing that has been started um, throughout the country. It seems like in rural areas, not only you'll have uh, chickens, but other animals as well. And in cities, you'll have chickens, and the suburbs, you'll have chickens. They are a great asset to any home or homestead. The fertilizer alone is great. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere, and it's disgusting and gross. But it's a natural lawn fertilizer, and if you keep the stuff from your coop and your run, it's a great garden fertilizer in two years. Um, they aerate your lawn when they pick up the bugs. They're great at that reason then also bug control new england let's face it we have ticks tons and tons of ticks i oh so many bugs anyway 
the chickens are great at controlling your bug con issues. Uh, we noticed huge, huge benefits in that regard. And then you have home fresh eggs, uh, free range bird eggs, even if your birds aren't free range. Having your chickens produce your eggs for you every single morning is the greatest thing ever. There's nothing fresher than, than those eggs. Um, and so we hope we can share not only uh, our experiences, but also maybe I'll share some recipes. Uh, I personally can't eat eggs. I know, I know, hold your jokes. But uh, Mitch loves eggs and I'll fix deviled eggs and whatnot for the family as well. So we hope you enjoy this. Uh, and if you have any questions, for us or comments, please, please definitely go ahead and, and make a note of it right down there. Uh, <laughs> and if you like this, please like it, share it with your friends and family because uh, I, we thought we'd just share our little tidbits with you. And have a wonderful day and try to stay warm. Oh.